say that enzyme is a biological catalyst. What does a catalyst do? It speeds up a reaction rate. Okay. So, uh, for example, some reactions can go in very slow, uh, uh, very slowly, occur very slowly. So, enzymes, what do they do? Enzymes speed up that reaction uh, for uh, thousands of times, millions of times, even billions of times. Uh, uh, even some reactions are occurring in 170 quadrillion times faster uh, with an enzyme compared with non-enzyme uh, compared with the, with the reaction where, where the enzyme is not included in that reaction okay. so uh, each cell in the human body contains 100 one, one thousands of different cell enzymes the functions of them is what uh, they are speeding up direction rate all directions will be uh, going faster so our uh, in, inside of the body the reactions uh, occur faster with these enzymes most enzymes are globular proteins a few enzymes are made of RNA so let's continue enzymes undergo all, all the reactions of proteins yes and uh, enzymes undergo all the reactions of proteins because they are uh, proteins okay so uh, we learned earlier that in, in the proteins lecture uh, that the proteins are uh, in, enzymes are included in the class of proteins so they are they will be undergoing the same reactions as the proteins are undergoing okay. enzymes denaturation due to ph or temperature uh, you should remember uh, the properties of them that denaturation how when does the denaturation occur at a lower pH or uh, increasing the temperature or uh, the enzyme denaturizes the enzymes denaturize or for example den uh, denaturation of proteins occur okay so uh, it will be these are the factors that affect denaturation not only there were also different factors but uh, the most important factors are pH and temperature okay. so a person suffering high fever runs the risk of denaturing certain enzymes. What happens? High fever will result in the high temperature of the body. So in some uh, reactions, some uh, some enzymes will be uh, will be denaturated, and then they will not be functioning uh, at all. And and then uh, that's why it's important to keep the temperature of the body uh, stable, okay, and close to 37. Or if we are telling exactly, it is 36.6 degrees of Celsius, okay. degrees of centigrade. Now, and uh, let's come to our enzyme structure. Simple enzymes composed and uh, an enzyme structure. There are two types of enzymes: simple enzymes and conjugated enzymes. Simple enzymes are the, uh, composed of only protein part, but the conjugated enzymes are made up of uh, apoenzyme and coenzyme, you can say. Apoenzyme is the uh, protein part of it, uh, part of a conjugated enzyme. Uh, conjugate enzyme without its cofactor. Cofactor is, uh, we can say also coenzyme. Co cofactor is the non protein part of it, and coenzyme, uh, co cofactor is uh, the inorganic part of the. And, uh, but uh, coenzyme is the organic part. Okay? Both of them are non-protein part. They are not included in the protein in the protein part of, the, of it. Okay? So apoenzyme and coenzyme come up together and making up uh, our conjugate enzyme. Our conjugate enzyme is also known as holoenzyme. Holoenzyme, okay? Holoenzyme is the active enzyme, which is uh, can say uh, which will be active uh, after the coenzyme joins our apoenzyme okay. With, uh, the apoenzyme can't catalyze its reaction without its cofactor so a uh, cofactor must be included uh, in the inside of the uh, coenzyme inside of an enzyme enzyme in order to be active okay. in order to uh, catalyze the reaction the biochemically active conjugated enzyme so it's, it's called as also holoenzyme okay. later I will also share this uh, link
links okay so you'll be able to download them from the internet now let's come to our wait uh, I cannot. let's see coenzymes and cofactors coenzymes and cofactors can be uh, for example uh, pro can provide additional chemical reactive functional groups besides those present in the amenities of epoenzymes uh, for what do they do they help an, an enzyme to be to become active okay without these coenzymes it may, may not be active and uh, examples for them could be included as zinc for example as yes, magnesium magnesium uh, plus two charged magnesium uh, could be considered in which uh, an enzyme we can say in the hexokinase what what is the function of hex, hexokinase hexokinase does uh, uh, the reaction makes the reaction go forward with uh, glucose and it attaches a phosphate group to the glu glucose and in the name of the reaction is called as phosphorylation of the glucose okay. manganese for example iron plus two charged uh, these this, this ones are included in what? iron is included in our hemoglobin very important uh, protein of, uh, inside of our body the function of it was do you remember the function of it? the carriage of oxygen and the carriage of carbon dioxide too okay. a metal ion cofactor can be bound directly to the enzy enzyme or to a coenzyme a small organic molecule acting as a cofactor in a conjugated enzyme Coenzymes are derived from vitamins or vitamin derivatives. For, uh, for example, many vitamins act as coenzymes, especially B vitamins. B vitamins were the vitamins which are soluble in what? They are soluble in water. Okay, B and C are soluble in water, but the remaining uh, all the vitamins are uh, soluble in fats, as you remember. Okay. Now, enzyme definitions. Uh, these ones we define it earlier. Transferase, 
hydrolase, lyase, isomerase, leakase. Okay. Uh, what are they? Uh, what do they catalyze? Oxidoreductase uh, coming from its uh, prefix. Prefix is what? Oxido oxidoreductase oxidation, and we can say this is also a reduction too. Included in redox reactions, they catalyze our redox reactions inside of the bodies. Examples for them, uh, we can include as an example as dehydrogenases, catalyzed reaction in which a substrate is oxidized or reduced. Okay. Transferases, what do they do? The, they transfer a functional uh, group from one molecule to another. Uh, so, uh, according to its uh, prefix, we can find out that the function is trans and transferring something. But in, in here, this is a transferring of the functional group from one molecule to another to work. Okay. Uh, transaminases, which catalyze the transfer of amino group to kinases, which catalyze the transfer of phosphate groups. Kinases, uh, we gave earlier the example, uh, hexokinase, for example. They, uh, uh, they are catalyzing the reactions of phosphorylation of hex hexoses. Okay? Phosphorylation of hexoses. Uh, phosphate groups are being attached to our hexoses too. Okay? Hydrolase, for example, hydrolase. And this class is, and their function is hydrolyzing reactions. For example, lipases catalyze in the hydrolyze of lipids and proteases catalyze the hydrolyze of proteins too. Okay. Lyases uh, addition and removal of atoms to, to or from double bond. Okay. What do they do? They add or remove all atoms uh, to or from double bond. Decarboxylases, for example, catalyze the removal of carboxyl groups. Isomerase, isomerization reactions. Isomerases may catalyze the conversion of an aldose to a ketose. And let's continue the cases. Synthesis reaction. They are included in the synthesis reaction. And they link two smaller molecules are from 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 a larger one. Okay. And they are linking them together as uh, in this example of synthesizes. Okay. 